we will see how to work with Node.js and React. Specifically, we will uh, use a modern stack, which is stands for MongoDB, Express, React, and Node.js. The first thing is to install the uh, MongoDB community server from this mongodb.com. Uh, as you can see, you can you can uh, download and choose for your platform. And the other things you need to install from here is a uh, compass. This when you go to this tool, you need to download the MongoDB compass, which allows you to control the the operations on the MongoDB server, the community server. Okay, you need to install two things here. The second software you need to install is Node.js, which is found available on this Node.js.arc, and you can download for any platform you want, and you can directly install it. Last not but least, you will need also the editor for the code to edit your code. You will need uh, this Visual Studio, which is available in here, code.visualstudio.com. So I prefer using this uh, VS Code. Okay, if you are on Linux. You can install MongoDB and Node.js by directly typing on your command uh, terminal by uh, go to Control Alt T and type sudo apt-get install Node.js uh, as well as sudo apt-get install um, MongoDB. Okay, it's fairly easy for the Linux users. So once you install, uh, I have already installed the necessary softwares. Once you uh, set up your environment by installing these uh, four things. Uh, you are ready to start your project okay now let us uh, go to this visual studio this is my earlier project uh, I'm going to show you before we proceed to our project let me show you what kinds of application we are going to develop here I am in the bash of the server let me start the server by using this node.js now the server is up sets up and here I have two terminals in the Client, I'm going to start up by using npm.start. So as you can see, this is a welcome. Uh, this is the uh, <coughs> web application we're going to develop. As you can see, there is a beautiful menu around here. There is home, there is manage, and there is academic curriculum, teachers, uh, blah blah, and there is department. We will develop this student's uh, menu in the next video. Okay, in this video. So in the department, when you go to the, uh, any link, there are a list of departments here. You can you can, you can uh, delete any department here, or you can uh, create a new department or uh, any entity like new department. You can save it, or you can edit it, the new department too, and you can also delete. You can also delete. So there is a crude op operation over here. Okay, so it's uh, a, uh, an application that performs uh, crude operations. So without lose, uh, losing any time, let's get started. So I'm going to go to this Visual Studio, and <coughs> uh, here it is my uh, uh, workspace. Uh, I will Control Z to terminate uh, the things, or Control C to terminate the running operations. Now, I don't want to this one. Let me close this one. I will open up a uh, new window, OK? So before we're going to create our project, the first step is to create a database on MongoDB server. So you will need to open MongoDB Compass here, first of all. And you have to connect to use MongoDB server and create a database called Community School DB. Right, so here you just say connect. If it is doesn't work like this, you don't have uh, an install MongoDB server. Okay, so here in the database list, I have several uh, databases. Here you have to create what a database here by clicking this uh, green button and provide uh, database name community school DB. So this is this will be our. Uh, database and uh, community underscore school underscore collection will be our collection so you have to provide two things connection collection name and database name okay doesn't matter create a database wait a minute so it has created a database 
So uh, we, uh, this one the special thing about this MongoDB here is that you don't have to create tables and their relations in Mongo. Mongo is not a relational database anyway. So now we will fire up the, let me close this one and fire up this Visual Studio. Now Visual Studio has been started in here. I don't want to do this one, so I have to create a new, I have to uh, open new window and let me close this one. As you can see, Visual Studio is like here, nothing is open, nothing is opened, right? Okay, now let me create a new terminal. So I'm in mean here in the root directory, when I say ls, here are the list of folders in my project, in my uh, PC. Okay, let me cd to the uh node.js project here you can you can node cd node.js right and this there are many many uh, projects here there are c school elementary school uh, primary school and let us create make it your community school okay this will be the project or the folder okay so i have created a folder called community school doesn't matter when you go to here and here it is not net means project there has to be community school project here it is a folder called community school so let me go to inside that uh, folder to the community school and there is nothing else let me create a new folder called server okay so I have created the the, the <coughs> the folder called server uh, this is just a server that will give uh, that is uh, the back end course will be uh, results on here okay this every server side operations will be written in this folder so once you create this server let me change the directory to that server and there is nothing else what now I'm here in the server folder then you have to write npm dash init dash yes or to initialize or to tell the mongo i mean the node.js server to tell that this is the server side folder hit enter now what the what happens in here in the server folder there is a package.json folder okay let me open up anyway the server file open folder here they go to file here open folder in this one uh, node.js project community school let me open up as you can see there is a server uh, folder is that server folder there is a package.json which we created by npm init dash y now in here there is nothing else anyway it tells us there has to be a file called index.js so let us create that one inside this folder I'm going to create this uh, click this one and say index.js so inside here I have to import some necessary packets in order to work with this uh, with uh, my project so before writing some kind of code for instance cost uh, const uh, you, you said that express equal to require express before I say it like this I have to install some required uh, required package such as such as express mongos which allows us to communicate with a Mo mongodb server and the other one is course so here inside here I'm going to open up the, the, the terminal and go to that server side the server now I'm in the server when I said uh, ls, there is two files, L, uh, index.js and package.json, obviously, here you can see. Now, I'm going to install the required uh, package by using npm, and then install, and then I need express, and hit space, you can uh, do space, mongoose, and course. I need these three things. It might take a while. Let us wait it. 
So while it downloads, let us write our code here. So the first thing is uh, uh, express. The other thing is uh, 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 we need is a course. And this is require. Require. Oops. Course. Uh, it's an colon. And the other one thing is I don't install anything else. Uh, let me create another variable called app and let me initialize the express like this one. Okay. Now app is our application. So and then we said app use express. As you can see, we have we have it has finished installing by the required uh, things. I need to use the JSON, and finally, uh, the application uses the course. Okay, you have to do like this one. Then we have to the application, the app variable is our server, so we will uh, listen for uh, on a specific a specified port number. So this is our our port number. So our port number is eighty eighty, and here let me go to app dot listen. Uh, we will listen on this port number, and if it is work successfully, this is a lambda expression. And here, yeah, you can say that console dot blog community oops community school server is up okay now our community school server is up right now if you run this one you will find definitely this this these things let me format it so that uh, allows me to readable in in attractive way so that the other thing is to create uh, <coughs> a, a connection with our database so what uh, i'm going to do is i will use i'm going to create another folder called a db inside the server folder by clicking this icon i think this one's yes db and inside here again let me create a file called connect.js this is a javascript file that will allow me to connect with my mongodb okay now here i in connect mongoose i say mongoose mongoose and i require mongoose okay like this one this one is a mongoose then here after we connect with our mongoose let us con let us create connection we load the mongoose driver and by mongoose say mongoose dot connect inside there i'm going to use the mongo db protocol and here localhost we will uh, connect with uh, localhost the default port number of mongodb is this one 27 zero uh, seven like this one okay and to the specific uh, database that we are there co uh, create community underscore school underscore db i think this is uh, our our name and once we connect with uh, our <coughs> database then we will uh, comma and use some kind of json here and the first uh, value you need you need to use is use new url parser but just this is just uh, the required uh, things okay the other one is use topology unified topology unified topology is true I think this is enough. 
then once you create this one and uh, say then if it is works correctly let me create uh, then okay then inside here I'm going to create mpt function called lambda expression like this one okay this is a function which have anonymous function console.log oops log and say data base connection established then I want to express, uh, export this mongoose to the outside because this is a separate file and then I said module dot exporters equals to this mongoose okay let me save it and let me close this file now I have two files here db folder and this index.js so in here uh, to connect with this one <coughs> uh, I need to back to the index.js then add some kind of uh, line of code like const db equals we need a require so which is slash slash db db is our folder and connect is our uh, javascript file semicolon and that's all the connection will be established so let us check it by running the following command node here i mean in here node index dot js so as you can see community school server is up database condition established <coughs> successfully so we have uh, I'm, I'm going to interrupt it by uh, holding control c now once we establish the connection and register the port number to the server now we can continue to writing our model okay let me close these things up and go over here and create a new folder called model inside this model let me create a new file a javascript file called student student.js right now this this will be a javascript file so this will be our model or table in other sense so i need to require mongoose oops i need to require this thing right now after i connect with uh, my, my database or you can say just mongoose you can connect with mongoose anyway you can connect with our uh, with your connection data uh, database uh, object or just with mongoose in both ways it will it will work okay mongoose then it doesn't have to uh, the name uh, you can change the name okay here in line 3 I'm going to create const and now uh, let me call schema student schema uh, right now this will be the new mongoose dot schema and then inside there semicolon here I have to provide some kind of uh, um, packages uh, JSON files here this is a JSON file <coughs> now the first variable is the first name I would uh, like to use and this is also another JSON file which has uh, a type of string and the required key will be true right let me semicolon it and uh, i need this thing let me copy it and paste over here and let me say this is middle name now this is middle name and 
the other thing is I want to uh, the last name. And let me format it. <coughs> the other thing I need to use is uh, I think can, uh, sex will be this is this 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 also is a type of string and this is required is true and what is happening here okay semicolon here and I think we can define enum made comma female if it is possible okay let me this one let me I don't really know what is going on here let me say this is a string so I will fix letter and let me format it once again <coughs> now we have defined our model which consists of this uh, four elements right now once we define this student schema let me go over here and uh, create another another variable called student and this will be mongoose dot model now we will try to model this thing and the name of our model is a student and the schema is a student schema and we, we will we will model those exporters equals to student now we export us our our model right so once you do this one close this thing <coughs> close everything else now we have created our model then after the creation of uh, after the creation of the model let us write our controller okay uh, sometimes it's called router and for this let me create a folder called routes inside uh, the server folder okay and create a students.js file then I will define the get all function get by ID create edit and delete operations you may write some additional codes uh, in your uh, codes okay according to your business logic so let me go here as we talk about and let us create a server called um, routers a folder sorry in here and let me create a file called studentus.js okay this will be our controller and uh, guys I have uh, some codes that will I will I will uh, uh, copy and paste okay uh, it doesn't matter and uh, I will copy but for uh, one function I will write in by hand okay so for this we require express in the, the model okay let me grab the student model from by using require from dash 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 our model slash student object now this will, this will be imported once since we export it we can import it and the other is express I think I need express yes express require express sometimes I have me semicolon but JavaScript treats me okay then const router from express dot create router 
now we have created a router then by using this router function object we can create uh, many operations like router dot gate now th this will support this router support us uh, every HTTP uh, functions like post gate delete patch put these functions are supported by this express router so let us define the first one is the gate operation and you can do like this one so inside here uh, the first parameter is the uh, address so everything that is started with a slash will call this function okay and now comma the following code will be executed async will be the asynchronous function it doesn't have any uh, file then it is known that we have request and the response it is we are going to override it by this code okay now we are trying to override the get function by using these codes now what we are going to do is we will create a list of students we will uh, retrieve from the database by using a wait operation so it will wait to until it finish from the this one so we have imported the student uh, schema and you can say uh, where you can query by this one let me call the find so inside this find i want to get by a list of files everything else will be called in here you can express your uh, query in here but i want everything else in here so once you query everything else let me say try catch catch the error and so yes and right and let me format it and once again inside the try block inside the try block so once we find everything else I, I need to define I want to override the response object or to respond to some kinds of thing and the first thing is status the status is 200 that means okay in i want to write in json you can also use xml but xml is old-fashioned so we will send some kind of json file uh, that json file hold this uh, the first thing is status it is to, to show that it is success right I prefer using the single quotes rather than the and comma the other thing is <coughs> what's going on here yes let me write uh, the data the, th the data that we want to send is a list of uh, students like this and I think we have finished from other document it's, it's found here oops I miss this thing is okay because this is a JSON JSON is uh, uses this kind of format open uh, uh, curly brace and close curly brace is required <coughs> now if it is success we send everything by using this JSON file in here in error catch block if there is something error but we let me copy this thing and paste here the status let me change the status to 500 just above than 400 and I want to JSON uh, file and the status is not success just 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 this is expressed in uh, string format you can say whatever you like retrieve fail to retrieve the list of students 
right? You can say like this. And the message or the data, let me say the message. I'm not going to send by using uh, the error itself. Okay, the error of the message will be sent as a message. Let me save this one and let me add some another uh, functions like put, uh, find, and uh, everything else. I have already created some file in here, student router. Let me copy and paste over there. So we define this one, <coughs> and there is get by ID. It, let me copy and paste here. So this is a get by ID, but uh, ra rather than a single hash, it requires another uh, ID variable here. And there is another file here, uh, said uh, get student. This is a function you have to implement. Here I have already implemented in here. This is an asynchronous function. Let me copy it and paste it around here. I think this is student. Yes, everything is fine, like usual. <coughs> nice. And then the other function I need is here is the post function, which allows to create a new instance of student. Let me paste it. So let me check for any error. I think the student should be uppercase because we define over there as an uppercase. Now, as you can see, the status of the response is to, uh, 201. Uh, we will use later on. Nice. Failed to create a, a student. The other one is update by using the patch function of the HTTP or the Express Framework Router patch okay this is uh, how you can update and delete you just say find by ID and update it okay uh, here I have to change some kinds of oops right let me save it once again now that's good updated student this is a newly updated file the last thing is delete let me copy it and <coughs> paste it delete student find by delete already. and i think it is enough now let me export it uh, outside to the environment like this that's all so this is the student's uh, router so after you create uh, this thing uh, you have to go once again to the index one right and uh, <coughs> you need to uh, define the path that you wish to connect with I have also let me pause it and I will come back later we create a database connection uh, uh, before that one you can do anything else in here just register that we have a student router oops student router 
is router I think I said routes routes dash students okay and anything that is start from students and then the earlier defined which is student router will be proceed let, let, let me write let me uh, run this server it's running on port 8080 and let me go over here and say localhost port 8080 and I think there is nothing else and let us say slash students and slash again I think this is success data but there is nothing else you see there is a status success in the data there is nothing else students okay if there are students it should be up here now after this we will implement uh, the react okay the react application that will retrieve some kinds of data from <coughs> this server let me close it and we will write some kinds of uh, such a kinds of uh, things for the student uh, table right now let me close this one we finished I think we finish up the server and go back to the, sc the community school so let me interrupt by using control C and CD that that and here I need to create a folder and instead of creating a folder by using mkdir we will going to create by using npx npx create react dash app say client so uh, in the next video uh, i will show you how to create a next app create next app that is a better one it is based on the react anyway uh, and let me enter hit enter it i think when you uh, work with this npx create uh, react app you need a strong connection it, it takes uh, several minutes to download it let me pause it a moment and i will come back later